this is AIT's KK series of fabric measuring and inspection machines. Um, we're going to look at one today that is uh, 1.9 meters, so 70. Uh, to 74 inches wide. We make them out to uh, 120 inches wide. Here's a, a wider version of the same machine. But uh, just a few basics uh, of the series and, and how it works. Um, the machines are standard with both backlighting, so you can backlight inspect the, equip, the uh, fabric, as well as top light and each light is independent and the backlight has a dim and a brighter version. Uh, take a look see at the control panel and you can see this wheel here on your left is the measuring device that rides on top of the fabric. You'll get a real-time readout uh, in yards, meters, or any other increments that the customer might prefer um, on the readout system here that is also resettable and uh, you can also set in various increments. So if you want to start with a, a large roll, 100 yards long, and reduce it into 20 yard rolls, you can set this on 20 yards and the machine will stop when it gets to a 20 yard roll here in the front. Uh, kind of zoom back out. Fundamentally, the way the machine works is it's two sets of surface uh, winder and unwinder. So you're looking at the rewind surface where the fabric rewinds. And then if we go around to the back of the machine, you'll see almost the identical uh, surface unwind uh, on the back uh, with the edge guides to keep the roll in the center. Now these all rolls are driven, all four that you see here, the two on the front and the two on the back. and um, uh, uh, furthermore, there's adjustments here to be able to offset the speed. In other words, if you look closely to the control panel here, you can see right now we've got the fabric tension set on 5. 5 designates that the unwind speed in the cradle in the back and the rewind in the front is 1 to 1 can actually overspeed the unwind or overspeed the rewind uh, if you've got a loose roll that you're starting with um, or, uh, or otherwise. In addition to all of that, what you're able to do here, and I've removed the cover, is here's an adjustment knob on the rewind in the front. You're actually able to build tighter rolls than you started with simply by having this adjustment this idler roll will uh, as it is uh, goes in the downward position it'll actually spread apart this particular pulley so that the speed on the drive uh, is increased so you'll have one roll that's running relative to the back rolls and then you'll have this other drive roll that's running faster or slower depending on the roll that you want to build and the tightness thereof. More features about uh, on the KK series of inspection machines. Um, back to the control panel here. Once again you can see uh, that the speed differential, it's called feed tension, but we could say feed uh, or speed differential between the back cradle and the front is set one to one on a setting of five here, but could be uh, sped up for a tighter, tighter roll or loosened um, uh, if so desired. Speed wise is simple adjustment here. That's up to the operator and how fast that they can inspect the fabric. And then you've got the option to reverse um, and uh, feed the fabric back to the unwinding back cradle if need be. More standard features, I'll uh, falsely activate the edge guide here, but the machines have um, edge guiding on them, so this entire front cradle uh, is reading the edge of the fabric. Now you can see I removed my hand, whole cradle 
is moving to the left using the worm gear system down below. But uh, you'll be able to build finished rolls with nice even edges on your uh, finished rewound product. More features on the um, KK series inspection machines. Looking around to the back here and the back feed cradle. Okay. What we are able to do here is perhaps you want to unwind and pay off the fabric winding off the top or you can reverse that with the flip of the switch here if you need to pay off uh, from the bottom side. Um, I'll show you now a sensor that I've got taped off for the moment. It's a fabric detection sensor. So once the unwinding roll runs off, then you get an audible uh, notification to the operator and then the system is stopped. Uh, meaning that the unwinding roll is complete. A quick view from the back here, you can also see your power connection comes out, The uh, looking from the back, the left hand side of the cabinet. Um, all the machines are 220 volt three phase um, and uh, uh, generally speaking 16 to 30 amps more than, uh, uh, more than covers it. More about the KK series fabric measuring and inspecting equipment. Um, this particular model has one of our most popular options and um, that is a rotary cutter, a rotary knife uh, that goes across the face prior to the rewind, or excuse me, just prior to the rewinding roll. Let me see if I can get this all in the photo in the video. And uh, so what you're able to do is start with very large rolls and uh, if your requirement is to build smaller rolls then this enables you to start with the big roll, unwind up front, measure on the same control panel that we saw previously, but in this case we'll also have uh, a rotary uh, knife cutter. So you'll be able to stop the equipment stop the machine at a given yardage. You can even program in that yardage, have the machine stop itself, and then the operator will be able to uh, activate using the control panel here and, uh, and uh, send the cutter across, cut the fabric. Of course, at that point, they'd want to take that roll off, put a new empty core in the uh, surface rewinds, and start their next roll of fabric. So just one of the options that are available on the KK series fabric measuring and inspecting equipment.